Trevor Peak is a UFC fighter in the lightweight division who fights out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. He's been a pro fighter since 2020 and made his UFC debut in February 2023. He's known for his aggressive stand-up game and he has a lot of power in his punches. The MMA community loved his debut knockout, which was delivered with unorthodox standing hammer fists. Trevor is a Christian fighter who boldly testified to his faith on the microphone after his debut win. God, give me a hope and give me a purpose, man. I, I was thinking a couple of nights ago, you know, I was like, I'm so glad I don't have to wonder what my purpose is anymore. I don't have to wonder what my identity is anymore. And I tell you, man, if you're wondering about what your purpose is and what your identity is, man, you, you got to know, you got to come to know Jesus Christ. He's the only thing that ever gave me a purpose. And I tell you guys, I don't care if I win three belts in three different weight classes. Listen, the greatest thing I've ever done in my life was this. But Peak wasn't always a Christian, and growing up, he was a very wild kid. Yes, sir. I would say my my truly my wilder days began when I was um, 14 years old, and they lasted up until I was um, 22. I grew up without uh, my dad; wasn't really around. He was off in the military and stuff. There really was just nothing to do except you know party and try to have a good time in that way. And it initially, you know, it all began just. I thought it was just fun to me, but then like the trouble started and, uh, you know, I mean, I got arrested for the first time when I was 15 years old. I stole my mother's car and flipped it and got a DUI. Oh, wow. and so, Partying as much as I could, you know, drinking and um, uh, it just progressively got worse and worse. And uh, by the time I was out of high school, man, I mean, I was a full blown, like just drug addict, alcoholic. I mean, I was such not not a good person i mean i was an intravenous drug user for you know several years i got into a lot of trouble i mean i've, I've been arrested more times than i can count on both of my hands peak was getting into street fights and had an interest in joining mma but wouldn't do so until he got his life together even in my wilder days man before i before i ever really stepped foot in the gym I, you know I, when i was strung out on drugs and stuff i would tell my friends like i i think i could make it to the ufc and uh and you know, if I could ever get my life together, and they're like, man, won't you try it? And I'm like, I gotta get my life together first, I, I can't. And they're like, man, you should train. And, and during that time, I, I, I couldn't really control myself. I had a I had a serious, serious like anger problem and just really was a uh, loose cannon, man. I, I, and uh, I said, I can't, I can't get no more dangerous than I already am. I mean, I'm already, you know, hurting folks out here in street fights. And I was like, I, I will once I, once I get my life together. The turning point in his life came in July 2017 when he was involved in a car accident. On July 27th, 2017, I ended up, uh, I was under the influence. I ran a stop sign, got T-boned by a lady. It about killed her, my friend that was in the vehicle with me and myself. An innocent woman got hurt, and uh, it was at that moment in my life that I knew I had to do something differently, and uh, you know I asked, I asked God to change me, and you know take take you know certain things away from me, and uh, just that I would I'd always give Him the glory if it if it take them things away from me, and, and He did, and I just want to try to honor Him by you know doing good in this life. Now that Peak's life had changed and he had gotten his life together, he was ready to start training MMA, and he did so in 2018. I didn't start training until 2018, and uh, once I, you know, once I got out of jail, I just, you know, started really focusing on church, really focusing on getting my life together, and uh, dove head first into this MMA stuff. After that accident, man, I was, you know, in jail, and I was like, oh, I'm done for this time. They're going, they're going to send me away, and <clears throat> I end up getting out. Um, they put me on community corrections for a year, so I was confined to the state of Alabama for a year, and I, I couldn't go anywhere, and pretty much was training in my grandfather's shed by myself for my whole first year of my uh, pro career. Trevor had two amateur fights in 2018, both which were finished by TKO and KO, and then went pro in October 2020. He started off his pro career with seven KO TKO finishes in a row, which led him to get a spot on Dana White's Contender Series. He earned his UFC contract with a second round finish on September 13th, 2022, just four years after he started training mixed martial arts. He then made his UFC debut on February 25th, 2023 against Eric Gonzalez. And that's where he had the famous interview where he got down on his hands and knees. Peak promised God that as an MMA fighter that he'd use his platform to give him glory. I told God, you know, whenever I 
you know, whenever I first first started figuring out who he was and getting a relationship with him, I was just like, man, like I, I could I could I could really do good for the world, you know, if you'll just if you'll take away some of these things that I'm dealing with, like I'll I'll let you I'll let you use me. You know, I'll be a vessel for you if you'll just just take these things away from me. And uh, so, you know, as soon as I as, as soon as I got the opportunity to, man, like um, you know, I told I told the started telling the world about what God had done for me. I mean, my faith is everything to me. I mean, everything I am in this life, I, I owe to the good Lord. I mean, I, I'm nothing without Him, you know. So, if something were to happen, and I wasn't allowed to, you know, talk about my, you know, my faith and everything, then I, I just I'd have to hang it up or, you know, find a different, find somewhere else to fight. Because I mean, it's it's everything to me. I mean. That's why I set out to do all this. I, I love fighting, but I mean, at the end of the day, it was fighting was more for the platform than anything. So anything fighting gives me is just a bonus. It's really about the platform. He's given me a purpose and an identity, and, and uh, he's, he's given me a plan, and I'm, I'm trying my best to execute that plan the, you know, the way I would think he'd want me to. Having gone through a life of reckless living, drug addiction, but then receiving forgiveness of sins through Jesus Christ, here are some things that Trevor Peak wants to share with his audience. The best piece of advice I feel, I feel like anybody in the world could ever get for any kind of any kind of circumstance or situation or just the purpose of life would be chase God. You know, I I, I went and I was fortunate enough to go be able to go speak to a football team and cheerleaders and just about I guess that's probably a hundred plus people at this church last night. I was able I was blessed enough to be able to go do that and, and that was the whole thing I talked to them about was just just chase God. You know, if you if you if you if you if you will put half of the effort that you put forward chasing a high, if you put forth half of that effort, that same effort chasing God, man, your life, your whole life will change. I thought the things that was helping me cope was, you know, helping me get through it, but ultimately, I, I didn't get over all the things that was hurting me until after I quit doing all them things. You know, God started actually, you know, cleansing my heart and my head and making me feel better about everything that I had going on in life. But it just, I was like really a prisoner to it. Like I said, I just, I thought I was, you know, getting through it, covering up my sadness and my emotions, but it just prolonged the healing really. Went to rehab multiple times and all them classes and uh, there was still a, a hole inside of me. And uh, I had to, I had to fill that hole and, uh, and God, you know, he helped me feel it. And he gave me, he gave, like I said in my interview, he gave me a purpose and an identity. And there's been times where I've, you know, drifted away from him and, and ch started chasing after these, you know, worldly things. And anytime I've ever done that, man, like, you know, it just seems like life gets super tough for me. And so I just find if I, if I stay the course and try to focus on God and my fighting career that, you know, things, things open up for me a lot more i'm i'm nothing i'm nothing without him man i mean I, i'm i'm really not I've, I've i've lived life without him and i've lived life with him and then even even at times kind of drifted away from him and uh he just he makes he makes everything you know everything worth it you know everybody's got trials and tribulations and you know hardships that we all have to endure and overcome but I'm just thankful that, you know, I, I come to know who Jesus is and that I don't have to go through the hardships and trials and tribulations, you know, by myself. And to anybody out there that, you know, if you're feeling lost and, you know, scared and don't really know what to do in life and you ain't got no sense of which way to go, I, you know, I would, uh, I would strongly consider, you know, maybe turning your life over to Jesus Christ and, you know, letting him letting him lead the way. To keep up to date with Trevor Peak, you can follow him on X. Facebook, or Instagram. You can also subscribe to his podcast, The Peak Nation Podcast, on YouTube. If you'd like to learn more about Christianity, watch this six-minute video called The Story. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel on the right. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like on the way out.